Good afternoon. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm so glad you could join me and thank you. This is evening prayer for Monday, August the 4th. It's the eighth week after Pentecost and week five in the Psalm cycle. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 77, and Judges chapter 6, verse 25 to 40. And please join me in singing the fifth verse of Psalm 95 to the tune of St. Columba. And forty years I grieved with them, my people gone astray. In my anger swore to them, my rest they shall not enter. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia, I cried aloud to you, and you heard me. In the day of my distress, I sought you. Alleluia, Psalm 77. And please uh, recite it together with me. Alleluia, I cried aloud to you, and you heard me. In the day of my distress, I sought you. I stretched out my arms in the night, and my soul refused to be consoled. I remembered you and was troubled. I complained, and my spirit was overwhelmed. You will not let my eyelids close. I am so troubled that I cannot speak. I have considered the days of old, the years of ancient times. I remember my song in the night. I commune with my own heart, and my spirit diligently searched. Will you cast us off forever? Will you favor us no more? Is your love gone forever? Does your promise fail? Have you forgotten to be gracious? Have you withheld your tender mercy in anger? I said, this is my grief, but I will remember the years when your right hand was strong. I will remember your works. I will remember your wonders of old. I will meditate on all your works and tell of your mighty acts. Your way, O oh God, is holy. Who is so great a God as you? You are the God that does wonders and you have declared your strength among the people. You have redeemed your people, the children of Jacob, Leah, and Rachel. The waters saw you, O God, the waters saw you. They were afraid, and the depths trembled. The clouds rained, and the skies thundered. Your lightning flashed. Your voice was in the heavens. Your lightning illumined the world, and the earth trembled and shook. Your way is in the sea, and your path in the great waters, yet your footsteps are not seen. You lead your people like a flock by the hand of Moses and Aaron. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. I cried aloud to you, and you heard me. In the day of my distress, I sought you. Alleluia. A reading from the book of Judges, chapter 6, beginning at verse 25. Now that night Yahweh said to Gideon, Take your father's bull, the second bull, seven years old, and pour, pull down the altar of Baal that belongs to your father, and cut down the sacred pole that is beside it, and build an altar to Yahweh your God on the top of the stronghold here, in proper order, and then take the second bull and offer it as a burnt offering with the wood of the sacred pole that you shall cut down. And so Gideon took ten of his servants and did as the Most High had told him. But because he was too afraid of his family and the townspeople to do it by day, he did it by night. And when the townspeople rose early in the morning, the altar of Baal was broken down, 
and the sacred pole beside it was cut down. And the second bull was offered on the altar that had been built. And so they said to one another, Who has done this? After searching and inquiring, they were told Gideon, son of Joash, did it. Then the townspeople said to Joash, Bring out your son so that he may die, for he has pulled down the altar of Baal and cut down the sacred pole beside it. But Joash said to all who were arrayed against him, Will you contend for Baal, or will you defend his cause? Whoever contends for him shall be put to death by morning. If he is a god, let him contend for himself, because his altar has been pulled down. Therefore on that day Gideon was called Jerubbaal, that is to say, let Baal contend against him because he pulled down his altar. Then all the Midianites and all the Amalekites and the people of the east came together, and crossing the Jordan they encamped in the valley of Jezreel. But the Spirit of the Most High took possession of Gideon, and he surrounded and he sounded the trumpet, and the Abizarites were called out to follow him. He sent messengers throughout all Manasseh, and they too were called out to follow him. And he also sent messengers to Asher, Zebulun, and Naphtali, and they went up to meet him. And then Gideon said to God, In order to see whether you will deliver Israel by my hand, as you have said, I am going to lay a fleece of wool on the threshing floor. If there is dew on the fleece alone, and it is dry on all the ground, then I shall know that you will deliver Israel by my hand, as you have said. And it was so. And when he rose early the next morning and squeezed the fleece, he wrung enough dew from the fleece to fill a bowl with water. Then Gideon said to God, Do not let your anger burn against me. Let me speak one more time. Let me please make trial with the fleece just once more. Let it be dry only on the fleece, and all the, on all the ground let there be dew. And God did so that night. It was dry on the fleece only, and on all the ground there was dew. Here ends the lesson. And now let us offer our prayers for the church and for the world. And please respond, hear us, tender God. For those who are strangers and travelers, that we may welcome them as Christ. And for those who are alone, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For the sick, especially Carol, that they may be protected and find courage and hope in your mercy, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For prisoners and captives, especially Robert, for the persecuted and for refugees, that they may be judged in righteousness and find freedom in your truth, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For all who died, especially Sarah Elizabeth, Brother Roger, Brother Stephen Richard, William Irwin, and Brother Stephen Edward that together with Francis and Claire and all your saints, they may have a place in your eternal kingdom, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For the mercy of God community and for the sisters of St. Francis of Philadelphia, we pray. Hear us, tender God. That God who's begun this ministry may bring it to fulfillment, we pray. Hear us, tender God and for all of your intentions. We pray, hear us, tender God, and please sing with me together. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Hear us in the days of our distress, O God of wonder and might. Remember your promises of old and grant us your compassion. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Bless Jesus, my soul, and may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia.